five guys out of the blue out of absolutely nowhere we are live and i'll tell you what <clears throat> we got something pretty special today so we're going to kind of just dig right into it okay um i was asked by troy over at caribou country and outdoors and his link below in the channel description and tom ritter over at tom ritter's channel his link down in the description if i would be interested in participating in this traveling trading gear box thing that they got going on i said you know what that's an absolutely awesome idea to kind of bring our little youtube community together and maybe bring some more people into the fold is you know this gets sent out we have no idea where it's going to go from here and i am the third stop on its little bit of a journey so jeremy albrighton how is it going my friend hey there troy what's up brother how you doing so let's uh we're gonna dig right into this guys i have not opened this thing i've had it for like maybe five days now and i feel bad because i feel like i should have already opened it traded my stuff out and sent it along so let's uh let's get this thing open here i got it from tom tom sent it to me his link to his video is in the description below um You'll have to go check out Tom's video because I think the way that we're doing this is our videos unbox the box and then um, that's it. Like after the video is done, I trade out my pieces of gear and then I send it along its way, which at least that's kind of how I hope it is because that's how I was interpreting it anyways. Mike Turner, how's it going, man? Hello, Miss Becca. How are you guys this evening? Come on, guys. We got nine viewers and four likes. Get down there and smash that thumbs up. If I can get this box open. Hey there, Heath. How you doing, man? So, let's, uh... All right, first things first, here's the instructions or the rules. Rule number one, no junk. Rule number two, must take at least one item and up to a maximum of three. Guys, I'm doing this the best I can with the wind. I'm sorry if it's given us any kind of interference. Um, Troy knows I was in a bit of a rush today. I've been busy. I started cutting wood and digging trenches and I got a new chopper, like a splitting mall. So I was playing with that for a while today. Anyways, rule number three, everyone who receives the box must sign the sign off sheet located in the white tube. Make a video of what you took. Must replace the item you took with another item of equal value or as close to. Handmade items are fine as long as they're decent. Again, no junk. Number eight, let the next person you know, let the next person know you are sending them the box in case they don't want to participate. So I checked with Geo Bushcraft. He agreed to take it. So that's what we're going to send this thing off to next. The person sending the box must pay the shipping. The 30th person will send the box back to me, Caribou, well, back to him, Caribou Country Outdoors. Let's keep this as fair and honest as we can, and let's see where it goes. All right. So here is going to be... Oh, this was cool, man. This was pretty neat, a pretty neat idea. The sign-off sheet has, like, burned edges like parchment paper, guys. That's really cool, man. All right, I did not bring a pen with me because I forgot that Tom did bring that up. So I will have to sign that. Oh, hey there, Tom Ritter. Ace Catfishing, how's it going, man? Oh, almost lost the tube there. Watch me fumble around for 10 minutes.
I'll tell you what. I'm going to close the tube up. I'm going to put this bad boy right here in my pocket. So that way we're not fumbling around with this thing the whole time and we can sign it afterwards. Hi, Mom. How are you this evening? Okay, guys. So what did Tom send along? We have some aqua tabs. I believe that the boxes have a, this box has a theme and I believe they went with water purification, fire and shelter. Okay. So we got some aqua tabs. There is a water carrier. We'll scoot down the bench so that we can do it this way, right? We have a, looks like a space blanket. Hey, Jefferson. We got a little bit of a, I think this is a fire kit. Yes, it is. This looks like a little fire kit. It's got a little knife, some twine. Or it might be a little survival kit all on its own. What is this little thing? Yeah, a little like fire, fire kit. In its little leather case. That's pretty nice. I'm betting there was something probably in this bag and it might have come out. Okay, so we got some black and white wood tinder blend. I think that's going to be something that Tom traded out of here. Oh, we got this little, what is this? It's a little leather envelope with a antler toggle on there. I'm pretty sure that's an antler toggle. Oh, look at that, guys. Nice piece of flint or chert. It's going to be one or the other. To be honest, I'm not quite sure how to tell them apart. That's really cool. Jay and the Sticks, how's it going, man? Me and Jay and the Sticks got big plans with Haggard Outdoors coming up real soon, guys. Wait till you see what we're going to do. All right, we got an emergency tinder kit. <clears throat> I might actually take this out of here. I like these little flint striker fire starter kit kind of deals. We got some Yuko Sweet Fire fire starters. I feel like I'm just dragging along, but that's okay. We've only been at this for eight minutes. We can take our time. So we got a blue, it looks like an eight by 10, or this is gonna be a six by eight blue tarp. Some black and white Sherpa blocks. I've used those before, those are pretty nice. <laughs> see we got some looks like some gonna be some survival matches here yes sir or some emergency matches can you guys hear the birds even though it's supposed to storm the birds are chirping away tonight Let's see we got some black and white wicked fury fire sticks Oh, check this out. We got a nice little folder knife in here, guys. It's got the windshield breaker, seat belt cutter, spring assisted opening, Artec. Oh, we gotta go this way, don't we? 
and it's a liner lock. That's pretty nice. <clears throat> so we got some super heavy duty safety pins or wool blanket pins. Might be able to use those for wool blanket pins. Oh, wow. Check this out, guys. We got an old timer folder style trapper's knife. This is this is something special. Limited edition 2014. Look at that. That is a beautiful knife. That is absolutely gorgeous. You can definitely appreciate something like that. Hello, Tina Ladybug. How are you doing this evening, girl? Hey there, Raymond. I hope I said hello. And it's also got a... Uh, oh, what is that? Like a, a brass pick? A little pick? I think they use those for setting pan tension on traps, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I think this would probably have come from Tom so he could tell me because I think he's here. And it's got the tweezers. That is a beautiful knife. <laughs> yeah, Jefferson, I wonder. All right, so we got some more black and white kindling sticks. So it looks like they're going to be some kindling sticks like that. About a six pack of them. Got a big bag of hooks here. Some number three eagle claw. Salt water. <laughs> we got a lightweight emergency shelter tube tent. Check that out. And that's pretty lightweight. It looks like it could get you through a weekend. All right, so we have. Uh, oh, you could probably like use these tinder sticks inside of here and make some really fine shavings out of them. So that's pretty cool. And the bearing, like if you're going to do a, a bearing block for a, a bow drill set, there you go. That's pretty cool, man. Living him in outdoors. How are you doing this evening? Oh, there's the, the, the paper that says the theme if you guys can read that fire water shelter okay <clears throat> okay so the thing to this is as far as I'm understanding is I'm gonna show you guys what I'm taking out of it and then that's going to be it, and I'm going to send it off to Geo Bushcraft and out Geo Bushcraft and Outdoors, and you guys will have to watch his video to see what I end up putting in the box. All right, so one to three items. Man, you guys make this rough, huh? Exactly. Yeah, Caribou, I got it. Don't show what I'm putting in the box. <laughs> oh man you know as a as a trapper this is just this is a little, really I think I'm gonna hold on to the trapper knife guy 
I think I might be a little bit greedy with this and hold on to the trapper knife. That is just a, that's an amazing tool. Absolutely beautiful piece of work. I think I'm going to go with the tinder kit. I'm going to hold on to that tinder kit. Cuz I like my 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 quick fire starters you know I get myself wore out at the end of the day when I'm putting putting some land under boot so it's uh, nice to be able to get a fire started real quick and not have to mess around with it <laughs> living in man I hope I said hello Let's see. You know what? I think I might go with the tube tent and do a little bit of a shelter trade out. And uh, we'll, put, we'll end up putting this thing to a real test because that's like, that's super lightweight, guys. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go with the tube tent. The old timer trapper knife. And the tinder kit. Okay. And then you guys are going to have to go down below. And make sure that you're subscribed to Caribou Country Outdoors. Make sure you're subscribed to Tom Ritter. I linked his video directly below. Make sure you subscribe to Tom. Give both these guys thumbs out, sh thumbs ups. Show them some support. This thing is to, to bring our whole community together and trade along the way and give this box a little bit of a journey and a story behind it. And maybe some memories too. And then you're going to have to go to Geo Bush. I did. I almost forgot Greg. I almost skipped Greg. You got to go down below in the description and check out Geo Bushcraft. Uh, all their links are below, guys. Make sure you subscribe to them. Give them some support, you know. Um, this was, as far as I understand, it was. It really started with Troy and was his idea. And him and Tom kind of built it. So, guys, uh. It's really cool that uh, you, you thought of something like this to, to bring everybody together and it, it gives our, our little, it gives our group more of a group and it gives us a story on how we all ended up coming together in the end of this and being here from the very beginning of it makes me excited to see where this thing all travels to. So let's go and pack this thing back up I still have to sign the sheet so I'm not going to close it up yet and I got to get Greg's address and send it out to him so I will have it off to Greg here in probably two or three days and then we'll have to just wait for his video or his live stream to come up about it but this was a really cool idea guys this was uh Yeah, if you guys, if my if my mods can help get some links out, even like up here in the live chat, that'd be awesome too. We do the networking thing. And I mean, hey, we're all part of this, you know. There's, there's four of us that are in on this now. <coughs> I need a drink because I haven't shut up this whole time. Yeah, man, that, that sign-in sheet's pretty cool. I like that. That's awesome. Here, uh, let's show Tom. There's, there's Tom. That is awesome, guys. That's really cool, man. You know, I had a real...
really, I, I did have a bit of a hard time. I didn't know if I was going to ask you or Greg. And it, it was not anything of a favorite. Um, so I, I'm sorry that I didn't ask you, man. So maybe you'll have to talk to Greg and work it out with him that it comes to you after he gets it. But yeah, that's, this was a really cool idea, guys. That was, uh, I keep saying it over and over again, but it was like, trade along the way. Let's grow the community. Let's bring them all together. Get to know each other a little bit, you know. <laughs> I like it. But yeah, this is... Uh, I'm going to show this off one more time because this is just beautiful. Old Timer Trapper. Limited edition 2014. That is a beautiful knife. And you know coming from Tom, it is sharp. Beautiful. If my nails are dirty, guys, it's because I got my home set and hands on today. I uh, I went and bought a new, I needed a chainsaw sharpener. Well, you can't go to Home Depot and it's like wives going to Target. You, you can't just buy one thing. So I, I had to get a chainsaw sharpener and then I saw malls for like 33 bucks, splitting malls. So I had to get a splitting mall. Like, you can't just walk by something that cheap. But I was a little bit nervous because it has fairly narrow cheeks. And I brought it home and I got my chainsaw nice and sharp. And I went over the hill and I cut up this big cherry limb that's been in my way. And started splitting it up. And I split that cherry limb. And then I went and split some walnut logs. And then I went and split some really knotty pine logs. And it's just, it cuts through logs like butter. It's absolutely awesome. For a Husky brand four pound splitting mall with narrow cheeks from Home Depot. I was pretty shocked at how well it was doing today. Yeah, the trading box is awesome. This was a really, really cool idea, guys. Like, that is an awesome idea. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed to Caribou Country. Make sure you're subscribed to Tom Ritter. Make sure you're subscribed to me. And then make sure you're subscribed to Geo Bushcraft. And you'll have to, you'll just have to see where the box goes from. Because he's going to to somebody. It might be he might be somebody else you never know nanya texas how you doing man you you almost missed the whole thing we unboxed caribou's traveling gear box and i took out my three items and then you guys are gonna have to definitely go check out geo's video when his comes out about uh you'll have to see what i ended up putting back in the box yeah heath i figured you were Subscribe to all four of us. <laughs> well, guys, we are... Uh, yeah, Jake, I'm going to keep this short stream because I'm going to keep this short stream. I did that on a... I did that live. Yeah. I'm going to keep this short stream. I'm going to keep this stream short. So that anybody else who comes along and like down the road to where the box ends up going and they're like, okay, I want to go back and see where it's been. They're not sitting here for like an hour like, oh man, this guy really drug this stream out. Skeleton Bushcraft and Survival, how are you doing, my friend? Oh, excuse me, guys. Yep, we did the, the traveling gear box. You guys will definitely have to go back and watch the beginning. Um, I did keep it kind of short. 
<coughs> excuse me. It's just, ever since I got back from Maine, my breathing has not been right. Raymond, this would be something that would probably end up sticking around long enough to pass on to one of the boys. This will definitely be around long enough that they're going to be like, Dad, where did you get that knife? And I'm going to be like, you know what? I had these YouTube buddies. If YouTube still happens to be a thing, and it probably will be. I don't see why it wouldn't. And be like, you know, I had these YouTube buddies, and they had this idea that we were going to do a traveling trading gear box. And they just so happened to ask me if I wanted in on it. And that's where it came from. Because I have got some of the coolest friends on the internet that you could ask for. That's just how it goes. You guys are awesome. <laughs> hey, Jeff Jackson. Rolling Homestead and Wild Edibles. How you doing, man? Good to see you, Mark. So yeah, guys, um, we are going to keep this pretty short. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to shut it down. So uh, make sure, again, go check out Caribou Country. Go check out Tom Ritter. Go check out Geo Bushcraft. Show all of them some support. Find out where the box ends up going after Geo gets it out. And yeah, you're going to definitely have to go see Geo's video to see what I put in the box. Because I'm not showing you that. That's how this is supposed to work. So I'm sorry for everybody that's new coming in, but I did want to keep this stream short tonight. Um, we have kind of a, a little bit of a journey and a story for the box. So that's the focus of it. And hey, I'll catch you guys all on the next one. I appreciate the support. You guys all have great evenings, okay?